Searching for Research with Mesh and Boolean. This is a sample literature search in PubMed. There are basic steps in beginning a literature search on any topic. Correct use of keywords and subject headings is an essential part of successfully searching a literature database. The following example helps explain how such fine-tuning of keywords and subject headings helps produce meaningful and rele relevant results in a database search. As a student nurse, you, are, you have been working with the elderly in a community center. Many of the clients who have attended the center have poor intake at mealtimes. Because you've seen advertisements suggesting that different nutritional supplements can provide a boost to older people, you are wondering whether or not adding a dietary supplement each day would help the client's well-being and or cognition. First, you create a PICO question so that you can develop a list of terms to use in your search. Using the PICO format, <coughs> your question might be, quote, does the intake of a routine nutritional supplement compared to taking no routine nutritional supplement improve the well-being and or cognition of the elderly, end quote. A natural language expression for older people could be elderly or ge geriatric or old. But many databases control the options for expression. The database chooses one term that represents the concept. This one term is then called a subject heading. The database uses the subject heading consistently instead of any other term that people might use. Using the given subject headings that a database offers will result in more useful search results. Because you are using more refined search terms, the database will help narrow your search down to the most accurate returns. This is how you check your natural language in keywords against the subject headings in PubMed. In the drop-down box on the upper left side of the page, the default in PubMed is PubMed. But from the, that drop-down box, select MESH, which stands for Medical Subject Heading. Type in Elderly. In PubMed, the preferred term is listed as Aged. Now, from the PubMed drop-down box, Select Mesh. Type in Well-Being. See that in PubMed, the term Well-Being is called Health or Personal Satisfaction. The definition of health is what we find best matches our interest. So in our PubMed search, the terms we will use instead of Elderly and Well-Being are aged and health. Look carefully now at the PICO question and change the main concepts to reflect subject headings. Dietary supplement, health, aged. Quote, does the intake of a routine dietary supplement compared to taking no routine dietary supplement improve health and or cognition in the aged? End quote. Go back now to the drop down and select PubMed. This will take you to the literature database. Using the keywords and subject headings, run the search with the terms dietary supplement and health and cognition. Use the Boolean operator AND between the terms. Notice the number of results, 302 as of Janu July 17, 2014. Then add the keyword AGED to the search, being sure to use the Boolean operator AND between keywords. 
Notice the number of results, 151. Now on the left side of the screen, select the limiters. Select publication dates, five years. That will limit all the results to those articles that are five years old or younger. With the four keywords, dietary supplement and health and cognition and aged, and with the Boolean operator and between each of our terms, and with a limit of five years or younger, there are now 78 returns. Add another limit, ages, and select 65 plus. Notice the number of results, 46. Because you want this to be an original research study, select article type, randomized controlled trial. This lowers the number of results to 27. From among the 27, there are several on the first page of results that sound relevant to my question. Open almost any return and you will find the traditional abstract format. This helps you recognize immediately that the article is research. The format of a research article, abstract, provides clear acknowledgement of the concepts such as aim, background, design, method, objectives, results, and conclusion. On the right side of the abstracts, you'll notice PubMed offers some related citations. This function of a database will take you to other articles that index the same terms as those you entered in the search box. <clears throat> in PubMed, click on the See All at the bottom of the Related Citations area and you will be brought to a list of articles that are related to the one you are looking at. Once you select the See All, there is no chronological order or limit. The information is wonderful, but you must evaluate the relevancy and the currency of each article. To access the full text for articles in PubMed, select the Link Out hypertext at the bottom left of any abstract. There will be a list of databases who say they have the article. Usually, the first database listed is the one that does in fact own the rights to that article. At times though you will have to check all the links to see if the article can be accessed as full text. Another example of a PubMed search, not research. Type the keywords 